that it's very probable that citizenship will no longer be a centrally programmed uh, curriculum subject. It will still be on the curriculum, but it will be on the basic curriculum where schools will be left to decide how they deliver it. What do you think the implications are both for young people and for democracy? For young people, the implications are huge. It's going to damage political literacy across all age groups. Uh, from uh, I work with uh, 11, 16 years upwards, but even people that are kind of 35, 40 years old respond to my work that I'm doing in my workshops. And actually, teachers that I'm sitting in with in terms of citizenship, um, education and politics, they didn't actually know the things that I was teaching. So if you take away citizenship as a framework, it's going to damage the political literacy, not just of young people, but when those young people grow up, Old, they're not going to know about the political systems and the rights and responsibilities of the individual in this country and I just think it's catastrophic at a time of high youth unemployment, um, issues, uh, civil unrest that are going on around the world and at a time in that instead of kind of reverting and moving away from not engaging with young people, this should be the time that people are actually jumping in and actually getting young people engaged because there's so much going on around the world at the moment that it's the perfect catalyst to really get young people enthused about politics.